Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use stretch markers in Reaper. Now, stretch markers are a very useful tool for stretching or time stretching our audio. To fit the timing of our tracks, it could be useful for drums, drum or percussive loops, or even melodic instruments like bass, guitars, or vocals. So I have a project in front of me here with a guitar part that's a bit at a time. Let's hear it. It sounds pretty good at the ending over here, but this first section sounds a bit early. Now we could fix this manually by splitting each note and moving it around to taste, but let's try it with stretch markers. We'll start by zooming in to our first transient right over here. Let's put our cursor right in that first transient. Then we can right click and choose stretch markers, add stretch marker at cursor. Or we could do it with the keyboard shortcut Shift W. Hit Shift W, and it adds a stretch marker right here. And we can see down here how much it's being stretched. Right now, not at all. But if we zoom out and move the stretch marker, watch what happens. It moves everything together. That's not usually what we want, though. We just want to move one note at a time. So the way to do that is to add a stretch marker before and after the main one. So I'm going to put the cursor right here, Shift W, and then zoom in on a second transient right here, and hit Shift W again. So now, if we adjust this stretch marker, it only affects this note, not anything over here. So now we can adjust this to line up to the other transients in the song, like this, manually. Or we could turn on the grid up here and snapping. And now our stretch marker will snap to the grid, like this. So now this first note should be better in time. Let's hear it. So that note sounds better. But we need to do the same thing for each note in the part, at least the ones we want to adjust. So let's zoom in to the third note right here. And instead of hitting Shift W, we can also hold down some modifiers and just click to create a stretch marker. On PC, it's Alt Control click. And on Mac, it's Option Command and click. So I can just click right here. And that creates a stretch marker right there. Let's do the same for each transient in this section. One here, one here, one here, and over here, this section was pretty good. So we'll just put one here so it won't adjust anything on the right side. We'll just adjust the stuff on the left side. So now we can readjust our stretch markers to put our transients right in the grid. We'll start with the second one and just drag it right to here. Then the third one. And this fourth one. Just drag it over so it snaps to the grid. And this one. And this one should be fine. Because this section wasn't out of time. Let's hear what we got. That sounds much better, but we had to do it manually. Instead, we can quantize or snap each stretch marker right to the grid automatically. So let's undo those changes and instead, we can just select the item, right click it, 
go to stretch markers and choose stretch markers in selected items and snap to grid. So it moves them all in one action to be quantized on the grid before and after. So that's a nice time saver as it automatically quantizes or snaps our stretch markers to the grid. But we're still time consuming creating our stretch markers manually. Instead, we can use dynamic split to do that for us. So let's delete these stretch markers by right clicking, choosing stretch markers, and choosing stretch markers in selected items, remove. And that removes them all and puts it back the way it was before. So now it's still out of time. So this time, let's create stretch markers using dynamic split. We'll select the item, go to the edit menu, and choose dynamic split. We'll use the keyboard shortcut D. That opens up this dialog. Now normally, we use dynamic split to split our items, but it'll also work for creating stretch markers. So go over here and change it to add stretch markers to selected items. And it's going to be based on the transients. So let's open up transient sensitivity, adjust the threshold. So the horizontal line up here just touches the transients. So bring it down to right about here. Now that creates too many transients. So let's readjust the minimum slice length to be a bit longer. Right about there creates a transient on each one of our nodes, as we can see by the dotted lines that are vertical. So now we can just hit Add Stretch Markers, and it adds stretch markers to each one of our transients, even the ones down here that we don't need. So we can delete these manually, Alt on the PC, Option on the Mac, and just quantize the other ones. Select the item, right click, stretch markers, stretch markers in selected items, and snap to grid. So just like that, it quantized those stretch markers. And everything over here was left alone. Now we can do the same thing using transient guides instead, like this. Let's undo it, select our item, go to dynamic split, and instead of choosing add stretch markers to selected items, we could add transient guide markers to selected items. Generate guides. And what that does is it creates these little guides on each transient that we could adjust one by one. And the benefit of that is it's only going to create stretch markers if we grab the transient guides. Otherwise, it doesn't create them. So we could start over here in the section we're happy with, just grab it, and create a stretch marker there. Do the same over here. Then for the other ones, we can just grab the notes we want to quantize and just snap these to the grid one by one. So I can grab this one and this one and this one. Or maybe don't grab this one. Hold on the PC, option on the Mac. It doesn't change the timing of this note. So you can do it more manually with the transient guides this way. But either way, it's a great way of adjusting the timing of our notes by stretching our notes to taste. And we could also use it to readjust the length of our notes. For example, let's say this note is too long, too legato, 
we can just create a stretch marker and put it right here, then drag that right to here, and it stretches it or condenses it to be shorter, like this. Let's do the same with this note. Drag it to be shorter. And now our part is less legato. So it's a great way of changing the length of our notes in our melody. Or we could delete them real easily to put them back. So that's pretty much it. That's how to use stretch markers in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you can use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.